Hello again, YouTubers. Minerno3 here again of eBay and YouTube and owner of ToyGameAndEmporium.com. For today's video, we are taking a, taking a look at the new Nitro Mites toys, the Marvel version from Zag Toys. And stay tuned until the end of the video because we'll also be telling you how you can be entered to win some of these. We'll be giving two packs to one person and one pack to another person. So stay tuned to figure out how to enter for that. But first, let's open up some of these to show you how they actually look and work. Um, we'll get these all open first. And then we'll do a demonstration showing you how they work, which I may have to move to a location with more space to actually do that. And then go up to the hard floors upstairs or something like that. But anyways, um, I may also have annotated links on the sides to skip ahead to different parts. So if you want to skip ahead to see the two-pack opened, that may be an annotated link on the side here. Or if you want to skip ahead to the demonstration, you should be able to do that anytime as well. If I remember to do so, I may forget. Let's see. So here is the motorcycle collection. Collect and race them all. And this actually shows all the different sets. There's Series 1, Hammer Down. So there are the standard motorcycles, as well as Series 2, Full Throttle. And then the Marvel Series 1, Heroes and Villains. So, like it says, 3 Series, 72 bikes in all. Collect and race them all. I'm not going to read all that, but if you want to pause there and read all that, everything that says there, go right ahead. And on the back here, it shows rev them up and let them fly. Making the Nitro Mites team take, sorry, making the Nitro Mites team takes time and precision. Learning to drive your Nitro Mites bike is part of the fun. To operate your Nitro Mite, simply hold the bike between your thumb and one or two fingers and firmly press the rear wheel down and in a forward motion to gain speed. This is called revving. This is goes to perform stunts, jumps, and wheelies. When you're ready to move, let the bike go by placing it down on one or both wheels to race, wheelie, or perform stunts and jumps. You may need to rev it a few more, rev it a few more or a few less times to ma to master every move. You're in control. So we may have to do some trial and error to get it to work best, but we'll see how we do with that. And then our first motorcycle here is the Green Goblin. You can see it's got some different designs on there. There's the like pumpkin head there. Like that's like the main logo of this bike. It's on all three sides. And it says Green Goblin on the tail end there. So it actually, the front wheel can move a little bit. And if you can tell that, and you can kind of hear like it revs just like that. So, so like what they're saying is, you'll like go like that a few times to speed it up, and then set it down and watch it go. I'm not gonna do that on the table right here because I'll probably fall off the table and get lost in some other stuff. So I'll wait till I get all this open and we'll go to a area with some more space. And as you can see, it actually can stand up on its own there, which is kind of nice. So you can actually display them and they're not gonna tip over. If you shake the table, well, they'll fall then, but let's see. That still takes a bit of a shake. It's not like a simple bump will knock it down. So you can actually display these, especially if it's on a place that's not gonna be bumped in that. So that's kind of nice. And play with them and then display them and you're not using them so our second pack then and we've got dr octopus since he's got his like i guess you can call him his arms he's got regular arms too but they act as arms so those are the design all over the bike and then instead of seeing on the tail fin it says dr octopus on the two sides there so a little bit different of a design than the green goblin all right, and then let's check out this two-pack. This one includes Magneto and Mr. Fantastic, as well as a ramp. Now on the back here, it shows all 24 different. I'll just let focus on that for a second. So if you want to pause there and take a look at all the different characters, you can go right ahead. And it says they actually have 160 mile per hour scale speed. So they can go pretty quick. All right, crack this open. And show you these up close here. Oh, got a couple of stickers there to put onto the ramp as well. Another collection guy. The ramp. It looks like they can actually attach to other ones. You can see one side's got holes, while the other side's got little grooves sticking out. So you can probably put more of one of these side by side and they should snap together on the inside like that. And looks like that's just all some texture so it kind of grips the table a little bit. So you can see if I lift it up, it slides real easy. I put it down. Well, it's hard to tell, but 
it's got more friction then, so it doesn't slide quite as easily. So the bike shouldn't just hit it and like start pushing it, it should actually, you know, go up the ramp. As would be the hope and plan and ideal. So here's the Mr. Fantastic bike. It's got the number four on three sides there. And it says Mr. Fantastic on the back with Mr. spelled out. Very nice. And then the Magneto bike, which is primarily purple in color with some reds there as well. Show you the, the focus there a little bit. The symbols on the side, it says Magneto on the side. So very nice. So I'm gonna cut the, cut the video here and then take these upstairs and we'll see how they do actually in use. So meet me upstairs. All right, we got a bigger area here. Now I test these out, did a few trial runs just so I have a rough idea of what I'm doing here. Kind of hard to make them aim well enough to actually go off the ramp, but it's there. Maybe I'll get one of them to go off the ramp anyway. So again, to rev them, you just put one wheel down like so and just push forward and you can hear the wheel going and stuff and then you set it down and it goes. Um, they can also do wheelies. Well, ask her the best way to do that, when you rev it, you just set it like straight down like that on its tail end and that should go. Um, I'm not sure if they can or not, but I can't make them do a wheelie where like they're at an angle like that. They're either down or they're straight up like that. Maybe with practice you make them go where they're just on end, but probably have to find this right speed and stuff like that. So I'll quit yapping and let's just see how I can do here. Um, one of our cats is around right now. He may try to chase them down as well, as he's very intrigued by them as well. So they can make some decent cat toys as well. So let's see how we can do here. So if you go too fast like that and you trap them on all, they usually flip over. Fine, I'm able to push them pretty well to get a good speed going. And there's Milo now. So let me show you how to do the wheelie, I guess, because then it shouldn't flip over as much. So rev it, and then set on end, like so. And they actually went off the ramp and then kept on going. And a few times when practicing too, it would hit the wall and then make a turn against the wall and keep going, hit the fridge off to the side, then turn around. So I don't know if they're, I don't think they're really designed to change direction, but in my trials and that, they've actually done that. Not so if I can make it go on just all the wheels. Just missed the ramp, but it went off. And made a turn there off to off camera. Next one. Nice straight shot, but just barely missed the ramp. Be a lot easier if I had like three or four ramps all together, but don't just yet. When I do my next video with the regular nitro mites that aren't Marvel, I'll have a second ramp that'll make it a little wider. So then last shot here. Do a wheelie. Whoops. Try it again. There we go. <laughs> Ended up going slow because I kept failing there, but oh well. So that is a look at nitromites. And then like I said, we're also giving a few of these packs away. I got three more seal packs here with one bike inside of each. Um, I'll have a first place winner win two of them and a second place winner win one of them. Um, to be qualified to enter, you have to be within the United States right now. Um, international postage is a lot more expensive, so I'm gonna have this open just for US when I do the grab zigs, maybe I'll have that be worldwide or something, but for now, this will be US only. And to be entered, first of all, you must subscribe to this channel, Minerno3. Second, you must like this video with a thumbs up. Number three, favorite this video. And number four, comment below on this video saying, enter me. Now beyond that, as this is basically a sponsored giveaway and promotion and that, you also need to go to Facebook and like the Nitro Mites page. It's simply facebook.com slash Nitro Mites. And that's how you spell it, but I'll have the link in the description box below and all these details as well. And then once you do that, comment on their Facebook page and just comment saying Minerno3 sent me, that being me, and within that comment also have your YouTube username. So that's a way that I can verify that you did all the steps and all that. So again, subscribe, like this video, favorite this video, comment here saying enter me, and then on Facebook, like the Nitro Mites page and comment on that Facebook page saying that I sent you and include your YouTube name as well. And you'll then be qualified to win. Um, I'll pick a winner in about, let's see, today is the 13th. Um, I'll pick winners on, I guess about the 20th, 
well, the giveaway will close on the 20th, maybe a couple days after they actually pick the winners though. There's gonna be a giveaway associated with all four videos I do for the stuff that you saw in the previous video. So the next three videos will all be giveaways as well. So keep that in mind and you'll have multiple chances to win. I've made a pick in the, pick in the winners all in one day. It might not be later the 20th, but for this giveaway, you have to do all the by the 20th to be entered. So that'll do it for our look at the Nitro Mites Marvel motorcycles. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw and comment, comment below to be entered and all the stuff I just said. And of course, check out toygamingreport.com for all of your toy and gaming needs. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next video.